Now to welcome back to the Harvey Norman Lounge on Pet Corner from Pet Doctors Vet Rebecca Coote. And we are talking pets with itchy skin today, Rebecca. That's right. Okay, because it is the time of year when they do tend to get a bit itchy, isn't it? Yes. So if I have a cat, uh, what happens if I don't see them scratching but they've got patches of the fur missing? And that's a common thing. Cats, instead of nibbling and itching and scratching like we see dogs do, will lick and lick. And so it looks like they're just grooming normally, except um, when they're doing that, they can end up breaking the hairs and then we end up with those sort of patchy, scratchy, um, spiky bits where they're actually itching themselves instead. So they've actually licked through the fur, they essentially. They have, yep. Sometimes they've got red patches in their skin as well. So what can the reasons be as to why your animal's so itchy? Um, there's a number of them. Probably the number one would, would be parasites. So easy just to make sure you've got your flea treatments up to date all year round. Uh, superficial skin infections can be another common one, especially when they lick themselves raw, then they can get itchy yeah. because they've been itching. And allergies and contact dermatitis would be another option. So do your animals need to have tests? They do because there's a lot of different factors that can be involved and often they might be itchy for more than one reason so we want to find out what the underlying cause is so we can make the best plan to keep them comfortable. Because it's obviously just not the, it might not just be fleas, it might That's be right. totally different. There could be a whole lot going on. So what mm. can I do to treat them? Is there certain products I should be using? Sure, so when we are figuring out what's going on that's going to help us to make the best treatment plan so it might be that they um, need special foods or shampoos or medications and the main thing we want to is make sure that they're comfortable because being itchy all the time just drives you nuts. Oh, I know. So historically we might have used a lot of steroids. Recently more um, sort of to the market has been Apical which is a drug that doesn't have the same side effects as steroids but can help make them more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And even more recently Cytopoint is a medication that the vets can prescribe okay. that um, can help them feel happy. So it could be what they're eating is it causing them to have itchy skins as well? Can they have, like, That's food right. Allergies? So food allergy would be about 15% of the allergy bracket um, that can be covered by foods. And so we've got a lot of really good diets on the market that can help to eliminate that as a problem. And so what if my pet does have allergies? Um, can we actually cure them? Or Yes, yeah, so allergies unfortunately aren't sort of a cure um, situation most of the time it's management although going to a specialist identifying what allergies might be going on um, there is immunotherapy that can be given so that would be the the top end of what you can do mm. and then otherwise sort of making sure that they're comfortable or if we can find out what they're allergic to and avoiding it that could be another way that we go about things. Grass at this time of year is a common problem isn't it? Yeah and I think we overrate grass as being you know in the allergy component there can be lots of different factors in there and there are some things that we can control and some that we can't so, you know, figuring out what's the easy ones to fix first, and because they're all cumulative, a bit of this and a bit of that makes an itchy pet. So if we can control some bits, then that might mm. turn them to being much more comfy. What about dust? Can pets get allergic yeah, to dust? dust mites. Or? Yeah, so that is a common one. And, and again, we, I think we, we're not always looking at the total picture, and, and if we can address things like that and keep the flea treatment under control, then often we can make a huge difference to how much they might need medication or get them off completely. And I suppose it also means that we have to uh, vacuum our houses a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Go the rumbas. I knew the, yeah, that's what we do need, a rumba. Those things <laughs> yeah. look fantastic. I have two miniature rumbas. They're my dogs that clean up after the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my kitchen's pretty clean, actually, yeah. I must say, on the floor. <laughs> hey, well, thank you so much for coming in today. You're welcome. Oh, that's been enlightening. If you think your pet may be suffering from itchy skin, make sure to visit your local pet doctor's clinic and have a chat with your vet about your options. And now to our pet of the week. Congratulations to Abe, who loves his new baby sister. Oh, that is so cute. $50 to spend at petpost.co.nz is on its way to your owner, Annie Riley. And if you would like to enter your pet, and it can be any type of pet, just upload a pic to our Facebook page.